Hi everybody, welcome back to Bentley House and welcome to the final video of 2018. I hope you're okay that my last video of the year is not a video where I make something, but it's a video where I share a haul with you. This box of miniatures is when I went to a miniature showcase in September. So it's been September, October, so October, November, December, three months since I went to this showcase and purchased these mini- I hope I left the tags on them because I probably don't remember how much I paid for them or who I got them from unless I was smart enough to put that information with them. Before we get started, I just wanted to thank you guys for an amazing 2018 here on this channel. The channel's grown a lot. I feel like I have a lot of new friends and new people who are commenting, sharing ideas with each other, and that just makes this a wonderful place for me to come, read comments, and I hope you feel the same way too. So at the end of this video, after I'm done with the haul, I am going to tell you a little bit about what's coming in 2019, so let's get started. The Miniatures Weekend I went to is held by the Society of American Miniaturists. Most of the time they meet here in Texas, but I believe anyone throughout the country can be a member. It's an event that you have to be a member to attend. So if you're interested in the Society of American Miniaturists or Mini Sam, I will put the links to their website in the description below so you can check it out. I've been putting off putting away these miniatures so that I can share them with you. Um, although I've been rummaging through pulling out things that I need and I hope everything's still in here. Let's start pulling stuff out. The first thing are these medication bottles. This was from a free table. They always set up a free table where people can just bring things that they don't think anyone would pay for but might find useful. And these are always useful to hold items in. Also, they're useful for putting dolls in while you wig them. So hopefully I will be able to use these in the future while I'm making my Adams Family dolls. The next two items came out of a like um, grab bag box. Uh, it was some items that someone was giving, not giving away, but selling for cheap because they knew they weren't going to use them. So they still have the prices on them. This one was $5 and um, it's really a lovely little rug. Pull it out of here. wheel. So I'm going to keep that guy closed up, but it's a very thick rug and I love the detail around the outside, so I'm excited to find something to put him into. The next rug was two dollars and it does say some stains, and so there are some stains here, but in my work where I um, usually age and stain things anyway, that is okay with me, and so I'm excited to find something for this to go into, and it does have a delicate fringe on the side and I love that when the fringe is in scale. So I was really happy with this purchase for $2. The next item was from a class that I took and the artist that taught the class is named Luana Clark. And what she had was a class showing you how to paint this little dollhouse that goes on a stand. So this is a dollhouse for a dollhouse. And we started with the blank um, plain house and a table that um, she had previously put together. So the class was solely on painting techniques. So this is what we ended up at the end of the class and I'm excited to find a place to put this. It is a little bit more cheerful than my usual look, but it's always good to try new things, new techniques, and new styles. My next purchase was this little fireplace for $10. And this was um, another miniaturist who I believe was sell. This is not something that she made. She was selling items that she didn't need anymore. And um, so anyway, it has a little bit of like this is coming off here. So it may need to be taken apart and repaired in a few places. Definitely aged. I think this would look amazing in a project, maybe even the focal point of a project. Here are some more items from the free table and they look like they are magnets. So something that, something little cutesy to put on your refrigerator. And, uh, but I really like them and they are, I believe, something that would work in a half scale project. So I went ahead and grabbed them because I do have a half scale project in mind. They also come with these cute little pots 
on the top and there were several there but I made sure to grab the ones that still had the little miniatures on top. Here are a couple more items from the free table. I don't really know what this guy originally is supposed to be. I do not think that it is originally a miniature but he's got a funny little kind of um, got a funny little expression. It's kind of a, uh, I think this is maybe a vintage jewelry holder. I don't know. If you guys know what this is, please let me know in the description below. But I think it could make a cool accent piece to something. And this little uh, plant that has seen better days. It's got a little dust in there, but I really like the wispiness of it and I think it could make something really cool in the corner. I could add a few other little details to the plant and really kind of bring it back to life. The next few items are all furniture, again from that bargain bin, the same place where I got the rug. And so I got really, really good deals on these items. So this is a $2 little bookshelf. The um, bottom doesn't open or anything, but it could make a good accent piece, put some things on the shelves. And so I felt like that was a really good deal for $2. This is a $5 piece, and I'll go ahead and pull it out for you. I think this could make a really cool accent to the fireplace that I showed you earlier. I think these two pieces could go very well in a project together. They have a similar feel to them, kind of a uh, western-y um, type living room, maybe? The next piece was $3. And I thought it was a really interesting looking wood piece of furniture because I hadn't really seen anything like it. Uh, it has some doors that kind of open if you're forceful. This one opens. The drawers do not open, but kind of like a sideboard, something that could be in a corner with like flowers or books or something decorative. This could also go into that same scene with the other two pieces. Um, I, I probably would end up taking off this shiny finish and adding my own finish to it, but I really like the look and the uniqueness of this item. This is a $3 piece and it is a side table that goes this way. So the drawer is on the bottom. I couldn't figure out which way it went for a second. Drawer opens, so this could go next to any chair, have a plant, a lamp, something on top of it. Here's another $3 item. Another side table piece. This one is a little bit crooked, but if it's just kind of an accent piece to a really cool couch, I don't think anyone would notice that. And these are just really cool items to have around because you never know when you just need that little extra touch in your setup in whatever room you're working in. The next two pieces are a bit cheaper because they need to be repaired, but those items are perfect for me because I love repairing furniture. I've done it several times. So if you're looking for some cheap dollhouse furniture or some cheap solutions for getting some furniture for your house, don't be afraid of items that are broken, but also be sure to check that all the pieces are there so you don't have to make those pieces for yourself. This is a $2 table and it is broken. But when I purchased it, I did open it to make sure all the pieces are there. And they are. There's even still the little wood nail sticking out of the bottom. So it just needs to be repaired with a little bit of glue, a little bit of patience, and it can be used again in a project. And it stands like this. It looks like it's supposed to represent one of those tables that can be pulled apart, but it it itself cannot be pulled apart. So that'll be a fun one to repair and use in some kind of scene. The next item was $1 and very clearly marked needs repair. Again, it has all the pieces, so I wasn't nervous about purchasing it. I know I can glue it back together. So here is the main desk portion or sideboard portion. It could be a sideboard again like the other one. And it has all the legs, so I would just need to carefully figure out where the legs need to go, even remove some of the old glue, and then it can be good as new. I can't remember where I got these two pieces from, but this one was $2 and it has opening doors, but the drawers do not open. Again, another nice accent piece. And then 
I don't know whose table this was at, but I think this is a really cool little detail with the shoes on it. Could go in any ladies boudoir type setting. This piece was actually given to me by a friend. I hope you can see it through the glare. It is some salad with some salad fixings and four cute little wood bowls. And so it was really sweet. I have purchased um, some things at her table and so she threw this salad in for me because I really loved it. And so thank you, Nancy, thank you for that. One other thing that Mini Sam does is they have an auction. You can bring an item, donate it to the Society of American Miniaturists, and they will use the money that they gain in the auction to continue running their society. So in the auction there was a lot of these three items and I bid on it. It was a silent auction and for five dollars I got all three of these items in that bid. This is actually a handmade piece and I met the man who made it and they made it from um, an old fence post from his wife's mother's house. So it was a really special piece to them and so I was really glad I was able to purchase it and make a new home for it. It's a little garden bench so of course I will be able to use this in something. Here's a little uh, glassless cabinet. It's really nice. Uh, it looks like the drawer opens but they taped it nicely so the drawer doesn't fall out. If you have miniature furniture you know that that can be a problem. <laughs> And this last piece, I really love the curvature of it. Even the front part is curved slightly. The doors open like so. The drawer opens. So this would be a good kitchen hutch or a china cabinet for me to display things on in another miniature scene. So that's all that's in this box. I do have one more thing to show you. I took another class that was taught by an artist named Barbara Monday and um, she taught us how to use a wire jig to make a bed frame and this is what I ended up making in her class. It's not painted yet but she showed us how to use a wire jig to create the intricate, the intricate swirls and uh, to make something really cool. So this is a footboard and I do plan to go back and make a headboard and try to make an actual bed out of this. But that was a really fun class. With taking that class you also got to take the jig home with you which is this piece. And the way it works is you can just put the pegs in there and you just put it where you want it to turn and you wrap the wire around it. And I did see that Barbara put her um, website in here. I crossed out her personal information just in case she doesn't want it on the internet. But if you want to check out her projects or um, see if she has any upcoming classes, her website is thedaintydragonfly.com. So be sure to check out her stuff. She's a great teacher and an amazing artist. So that's all I have today for you guys for this haul. I do want to talk a little bit about things that are happening in 2019. I am super excited for the next year. The first thing that's going to be happening is I am starting to work with a dollhouse charity and I will be giving you that information in early January in case you want to follow along if you want to help out and some of these items I'm going to be donating to that charity because sh what she does is she takes items makes dollhouses for kids battling cancer. And so there are ways that you can help out. I am making sure that I have all the details correct before I release that video. It should be the second video out in January. January 1st is gonna be my first live stream of the new year. It's Tuesday at 10 a.m. Texas time. So make sure you join us if you want to join in the live stream. I am starting a new series where I have created my own 95 mini prompts where I will be making these prompts for you on camera and then giving you the ability to participate and then I will be showing photos that you have sent to me in my videos if you choose to do so. It should be a really fun way to get you guys involved in the channel and excited about making miniatures. 
Also, I have a huge deadline in June. That is when I want to be done with my Adams Family project. So I will be working heavily on that project, trying to get things done. So if you love the Adams Family as much as I do, make sure you stay tuned for that. I will also still be continuing work on my abandoned coffee shop. I want to get those projects finished up, not because I'm tired of them, but because I have so many other ideas boiling in the back of my head and they want to come out. So I'm hoping to finish up some of those projects and get going on some new projects that hopefully you guys will love just as much. So if you're excited about 2019 as much as I am, make sure you leave me a like. If you're not already, subscribe so you know when I upload new videos. I hope you guys have happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. I will see you guys January 1st back here on my channel. I am so looking forward to it. Bye. So at this end, of, I want to tell you. <laughs>